G'day. Welcome to What's It All About, Alfie? The story of Jesus. From the end to the beginning and beyond. Come on in. In Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 20, the great Apostle Paul writes a wow factor about Jesus Christ. Now Jesus Christ is the visible expression of the invisible God. He existed before creation began, for it was through him that everything was made, whether spiritual or material, seen or unseen. Through him and for him also were created power and dominion, ownership and authority. In fact, every single thing was created through and for him. He is both the first principle and the upholding principle of the whole scheme of creation. And now he is the head of the body which is composed of all Christian people. Life from nothing began through him, and life from the dead began through him, and he is therefore justly called the Lord of all. It was in him that the full nature of God chose to live, and through him God planned to reconcile in his own person, as it were, everything on earth and everything in heaven by virtue of the sacrifice of the cross. That is part of Paul's wow factor about Jesus. You can see Paul getting excited as he writes that. And for me, the wow factor of Jesus includes his uniqueness, his beauty, his gracefulness, his majesty, his tenderness, his wisdom, his strength, and his oozes loveliness. That this extraordinary man, this God-man, Jesus, loves me with an unparalleled and creative passion is something I need to be reminded of regularly as I go about each day. That's my Jesus Christ, the ascended King who sits at the right hand of God the Father. This Jesus who is coming back again. Nobody knows when that will be, despite the best efforts of people down through history. Who is this Jesus? As we start this travel back through time, let's start with Jesus, the reigning king. Jesus as he is now. The Jesus who is described by his good friend, the man we know as the Apostle John, in Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 4. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had disappeared, and the sea was no more. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, descending from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride dressed in beauty for her husband. Then I heard a great voice from the throne crying, See, the home of God is with men, and he will live among them. They shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death shall be no more, and never again shall there be sorrow or crying or pain, for all those former things are past and gone. Then he, who is seated upon the throne, said, See, I am making all things new. And he added, Write this down, for my words are true and to be trusted. Then he said to me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give to the thirsty water without price from the fountain of life. The victorious shall inherit these things, and I will be God to him, and he will be son to me. But as for the cowards, the faithless, and the corrupt, the murderers, the traffickers in sex and sorcery, the worshippers of idols and all liars, Their inheritance is in the lake which burns with fire and sulphur, which is the second death. That is a wow factor about Jesus, isn't it? Look at just one verse of that passage and see the most extraordinary thing this Jesus will do to all those who persevere. Revelation 21 verse 4. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. That's a real wow factor of Jesus to come. A real wow factor about Jesus, isn't it? 
Let's go back a little further and see how John described the ascended Jesus in Revelation chapter 1, verse 12 to 16. I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and among the lampstands was someone like a son of man, dressed in a robe reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash around his chest. The hair on his head was white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, and coming out of his mouth was a sharp double-edged sword. His face was like the sun, shining in all its brilliance. John, the Apostle John, had just got a new wow factor of Jesus. That figure is the risen and ascended Jesus Christ, the one proclaimed as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Look at Jesus' own wow factor here. Jesus holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. Jesus, who is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, who died and came to life again. Wow! Jesus, who has the sharp double-edged sword, is the Son of God, and whose eyes are like blazing fire, and whose feet are like burnished bronze. Wow! Jesus, who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, Jesus, who is holy and true and holds the key of David. Jesus Christ, who opens what no one can shut and shuts what no one else can open. Jesus, who is the Amen, the faithful and true witness. Jesus, who is the ruler of God's creation. Again, wow! Again, how's your wow factor of Jesus now? To all those who persevere, to those who remain followers of this Jesus Christ, those who overcome and are victorious, Jesus will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Can't wait, can we? To all those who overcome and are victorious, they won't be hurt by the second death. To all those who are overcome and are victorious, Jesus will give the victor's crown. Those who overcome and are victorious will be given authority over the nations. Wow! Double wow! To those who overcome and are victorious, they will be in the temple of God and never to leave it. Continuing on, Jesus Christ will do the most extraordinary thing of writing on them the name of God, the city of God, and his new name. Wow! 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 To those who overcome and are victorious, their name will be in the book of life, and Jesus will acknowledge them before God the Father and his angels. And then finally, 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 for those who overcome and are victorious, they will sit with their master, the Lord Jesus Christ, on his throne, just as he was victorious and sat down with his father on his throne. Wow, that's you and I if we hold out to the end. Again, how's your wow factor of Jesus now? So that's it for this week. We continue in our journey, our time travel and go back even further to see how Jesus came to be in this ascended position at God's right hand and is able to do all those things for those who persevere and believe, to fulfill those promises he makes. Next week, Jesus' Ascension. <laughs> 